My name is Pavel Kanya. I'm uh, the head chef and co-founder of Flat3. So we're going to do a, uh, it's a poached sea bass uh, with fermented cauliflower. We tend to preserve the use things as you would at home, for example, where the, where the Korean style of uh, cooking comes in, in in terms of our lacto fermentation or kimchi. We like to base a lot of our sauces uh, on kimchi style sort of uh, ferments. The fermentation of the cauliflower takes about two weeks. You need quite a, a sterilized environment because it's a fermentation. You don't want bad bacteria to grow. From the fermentation, generally people eat the eat the vegetable that's been fermented, not the liquid. Liquid's usually thrown away, so that's sort of our base to well, that is our our source to our fish. First, the fish is filleted as a Japanese uh, would. So it would be backwards to a Western uh, style of cutting fish. It's sort of a bit more delicate technique. Uh, even though the tool you use is a lot heavier than a Western knife. We, we salt the fish for, for 10 minutes after cutting to increase the amount of umami in that fish and sort of slightly, slightly dehydrates that fish. So these techniques are sort of, um, they're not modern techniques. These techniques have been honed by the Japanese for, for thousands of years. Where only now have Western culture sort of embraced the style of techniques. And then it's poached in a, in a water bath, 60 degrees for 10 minutes. The, the sauce came about from usually when you buy a cauliflower, the leaves are thrown in the bin. So we fermented the, the leaves. We've used the liquid, we've turned that into a dashi, which is a, a Japanese stock or soup, which we've cooked with kombu, um, which is seaweed, at 60 degrees for an hour and 20 minutes. When you taste it, you'll see there's a lot of depth in flavor. It is one of our most favorite dishes uh, that we serve here, um, according to the guests. I think it's pretty good.